play like this, visit pianohooks.com for full lessons and the Piano Hooks Patreon page for more advanced tutorials. For now, here's the simple version. For the song Black Velvet, we're going to learn the first half of the chorus in four parts. To find our hand positions, our right hand will be playing the singing part. We're going to find the middle of our keyboard, that's generally a singing vocal range. And this 88 key keyboard has a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys near the middle of the keyboard. The right hand will be starting off by playing the white key just to the right of that middle group of three black keys. For the left hand, we're going to find an even lower group of three black keys and one more lower group than that. If your keyboard isn't big enough to do this, you can opt to play one position higher. But we're going to go a little bit lower here and the left hand is going to start off by playing the middle black key of that group of three black keys. Once we have our starting position, part one goes like this. So the right hand is playing a white key and the left hand is playing a black key. Once we have that position, the left hand goes first, then the right hand plays, plays that key again, steps down to play this top black key of a group of three black keys, and plays two more times. So again, left hand first, play and hold. Right hand plays this white key twice, one, two, then steps down and plays this black key three times. One, two, three. So try counting that out. Left hand plays, right hand goes one, two, three, four, five. Now for the proper rhythm, we have short, long, long, short, short. And again, left hand. short, long, long, short, short. For part two, the right hand is going to continue where it left off in part one. And the left hand is going to jump up from that middle black key to play the bottom black key of a group of two black keys. This will be the starting position. And part two sounds like this. Once we have found our starting position here, both hands play together. The right hand steps down to play that middle black key three times. One, two, three. So both hands play together. Right hand steps down and plays two more times. In total, the right hand's playing four times. One, two, three, four. Now to get the proper rhythm, we have short, short, long, long. And again, short, short, long, long.
Let's review parts one and two. We find our starting positions here. Left hand goes first. Right hand plays this white key twice. Then steps down to play this black key three times. One, two, three. Now for part two, the right hand stays here and the left hand jumps up. Both hands play together, then the right hand steps down and plays this key three times. And again, left hand first for part one. One, two, one, two, three. Left hand moves just once, and the right hand steps down to play three times. One, two, three. Now for the proper rhythm, left hand goes and plays, right hand plays short, long, long, short, short, left hand moves, short, short, long, long. And again, left hand first, short, long, long, short, short, Another short, but the left hand has to jump up. Short, short, long, long. And one more time. Left hand first. Short, long, long. Short, 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 long, long. What song should I do next? Leave a comment below. The nice thing about part three is it's very similar to part one. So the hand position is the same as part one. Middle black key in the left hand of a group of three black keys. And for the right hand, we have a white key to the right of a group of three black keys. So part three goes like this. So the only difference here is the rhythm in the right hand. But let's figure out the keys first. Left hand plays and holds. Right hand plays this white key twice. One, two, and then steps down to play this nearest black key three times. One, two, three. And now for the proper rhythm, left hand plays first and holds. Right hand goes short, long, short, short, long. So we start off with short in the right hand on this white key, finish on this white key with long, and same with this black key. We do two shorts, short, short, and finish with the long. So start with short, finish with long. Let's try that. Left hand plays and holds. Short, long, short, short, long. In total, we play the right hand five times. One, two, three, four, five. Short, long, short, short, long. Let's review parts one, two, and three. We find our starting position, which is the same for parts one and three. Left hand goes first. Short, long, long, short, short, left hand moves. Short, short, long, long. We reset for part three. Left hand goes first. Short, long, short, short, long. And one more time. Part one, left hand plays first. Short, long, long, short, 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 long, long. Reset, left hand. Short, long, short, short, long. 
And now we add part four. For part four, the right hand will start off by playing the middle black key of this group of three black keys. And the left hand is going to move up and play the white key to the right of a group of two black keys. This will be our starting position for part four. And part four goes like this. Once we have found this starting position, you'll notice the right hand is only playing these three black keys and black keys only. And the left hand is playing these two white keys. So for part four, both hands go together. The right hand repeats this key, steps down a black key, and then drops down to play a lower black key while the left hand drops down to play a lower white key. So from here to here, the right hand is skipping two white keys. And from here to here, the left hand is also skipping two white keys. So we find our position. Starting of part four, both hands go together. Right hand repeats this key, steps down, and then both hands drop down. For the proper rhythm, we focus on the rhythm of the right hand because the left hand just holds. So hands together, long, short, long, long. It's mainly longs here. Long, short, long, long. Let's review parts one, two, three, and four. We find our starting position for part one, and we focus on the rhythm. Left hand goes first. Short, long, long, short, short. Left hand moves. Short, short, long, long. Reset. Left hand. Short, long, short, short, long. Now both hands move, left hand does a big jump up, long, short, long, and both hands drop down. And one more time. Left hand, short, long, long, short, 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 long, long, reset, left hand. Short, long, short, short, long. Left hand does a big jump up. Long, short, long. Both hands drop down. Long. Now, if you have this melody stuck in your head, you're probably wanting to keep going. Well, check out part two to learn the rest of the chorus.
take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe.